When they played here in 1935, it was one of those games. You know those games of the century? Ohio State led 13 to nothing after three quarters, but the Irish, with Bill Shakespeare throwing Dwayne Milner, wound up winning it 18 to 13. That's why there's been so much hype about this game we're playing here today. And here we go with the Irish wearing the white kicking off. Kevin Kupka kicks it away. Terry Glenn and Sean Springs wait for it. It is Sean Springs, number 24, the son of Ron Springs, who played at Ohio State. And he's out of bounds up around the 27-yard line. It's Kinder for the corner. Touchdown. It's a three-point ball game. Notre Dame leading Ohio State 10 to 7. Blitz. Passes away, and it is Stanley! Touchdown! We got this. We got a lock on it. We're going to win. Lou Holtz is only one man, but he's doing a heck of a job. Doing a good job for one guy. <laughs> Keith. Yeah, <laughs> from the 20-yard line. Eddie George finds a hole. John Wooden runs him down, but it's a big one for Eddie. It is over. Ohio State. 45, Notre Dame 26. The Irish won again the next season. But then the schools took separate paths, building upon two of the game's proudest traditions. Now they return to Notre Dame for the first time in 60 years, over six decades since the game of the century, and it still quickens the pulse. Ohio State and Notre Dame. And especially so when the opponent is also steeped in tradition, ranked in the top 10, and making its first trip here in 60 years. It's Ohio State and Notre Dame. Springs deep for Ohio State. This will be Stanley at the two. With a seam, Demetrius Stanley, the kicker, Samson misses. Cuts back. Demetrius Stanley finally caught at the 13 yard line. An 85 yard return. Paulus to pass. Wide open for the touchdown. Stoltz blocked. So once again, Davey in the Notre Dame defense and special teams make a big play. Blocking the uh, Stoltz kick that really never got airborne. Blitz. Paulus. Threw it right into the hands of an Ohio State defender. Intercepted. Hand off to Pearson. Got by Rawson. And he breaks free to the 40-yard line before Cobbins can chase him down. Tailback spot of the eye. Here's Pearson. Easy touchdown. Pass complete. Tight end, touchdown, D.J. Jones. Ohio State comes to Notre Dame for the first time in 60 years. And the fourth-ranked Buckeyes remain unbeaten. I'm with Coach Cooper now. Trouncing Notre Dame 29-16. It's a fast track, ladies and gentlemen. Temperature is in the 70s. We could have a good old-fashioned high-scoring shootout at the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl. The edge of the red zone, just outside the 20. And now they're in the red zone, and Walker could score. Touchdown! 21-yard first. Offensive line gives Troy plenty of time. 
Ghost Eakins wide open. Wide open, folks. Touchdown. Here we go. Get out the Addy machine. We're underway. 56 yards, and Ted Ginn Jr., the speedster, just blew past the secondary. Four is the running back. He replaces Pittman. Option, here comes Ginn. Looking for a run. There was a great block on the edge. Look out. He's going to take it to the house, folks. Touchdown. Ginn second of the afternoon. 68 yards. He alone has outgained the Irish. On first down, going deep, got Holmes. In a foot race for the end zone. Touchdown, he almost started that celebration a little easier. He's in that slot area right now. And there's the call for the running play. Walker, touchdown again. His second of the game, and we've got a ball game again. Nor Holmes handled. And uh, so here's Smith firing to the far side, wide open on a missed tackle. And a great hustle by Zimikowski to catch again. Now the Irish must stop. They have a corner blitz, and the Bucks run right to it. Daylight, in zone ahead. Pittman, touchdown, game over. 60 yards. Third basketball win in four years. That's just the sixth meeting all time between these two schools. They played a home and home in the mid 30s. And then they played again in the 90s. The Buckeyes won both of them in a home and home series. In the last meeting, the end of the 2005 season, the 2006 Fiesta. Goes in motion. He lined up on the right hip of Barrett. Michael Thomas, touchdown, Ohio State. It's a coordinator I think should be in the booth. Elliott, that line gave him a lot of time, but it's a deflected pass, and it's intercepted by Joe Schmidt. And he brings it back to the 42-yard line. The top. And it's the fade, and it's caught by Chris Brown. Touchdown Notre Dame as he got away from Garyon Conley. As hard as he can in his final game. High snap. Elliott found a crease and may find the end zone. Touchdown Ohio State. Third down and 10 from midfield. Kaiser trying to design, roll away from the rush, and he threw an interception. Tyvis Powell. Joshua Perry from the linebacker position comes on a blitz, didn't get there. Here's Fuller in the clear. On the sore ankle, does he have enough? Yes, touchdown Irish. He ran away from Von Bell. 81 yards. Third down and 11. Kaiser sacked again. Swung down by Sam Hubbard. In for the ejected Joey Bosa. Four years in a row with 12 or more wins for the Buckeyes. 